Hey Worship Leader, welcome back to the channel. In the past couple weeks, I've had a video go out about the Helix versus the HX Stomp. The other day I had the Pod Go versus the Stomp XL. Today, because of y'all's comments, you've inspired me to make another video where we don't do a lot of talking. We've already gone through the pros and cons, but today we just wanna hear the sound differences. Now, I did make a mistake in the Pod Go video. I recorded it accidentally in mono, and then the HX Stomp XL was in stereo, so it wasn't apples to apples. And so today I'm gonna fix that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everything head to head. I'm gonna make sure all the settings are the same. The presets are exactly the same. Every input, every output is exactly the same. Guitar volumes, all set to unity gain. I've even already recorded my guitar into a looper so the playing will be exactly the same. Today we will find out if there's a sound difference between the Pod Go, the HX Stomp, the Helix, the HX Stomp XL. Let's do it. All unit battle, here we go. So what I've done is I've looped in some playing on another HX Stomp. I'm leaving that HX Stomp and going to all of these other devices. Here is the raw recording that uh, I recorded into that HX Stomp looper. There it is. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record that signal, that recorded signal through each one of these units and I'm going to try to do the same thing on every recording where I turn on and off different effects at the same time and we'll A, B some tests and see how they sound. Here we go, first shot, HX stomp, let's turn off. What I have here is I have an overdrive, an EQ, some reverb and delay uh, and I have this ring re this room reverb. Now all of this is exactly like the Pod Go. I made the Pod Go preset first and then I matched everything else to it. So we'll let it go by the first time just dry. Then I'll put some distortion EQ and then I'll do some delay and reverb and I'll try to do that same thing on every track. Here we go. I will say I'm very excited about this unit here. It's got all my gear set up but I don't have, I have this right here. The um, mini effect gizmo that's gonna allow me to loop everything in right here. Um, and I've ordered the cables and they'll be coming in very soon. Gonna make a video about that. It'll be very interesting, but right now I have to like take out everything and put it all back in. But here we go. And the HX stomp. <laughs> the HX stomp XL. Pod go. And here's the helix, finally. Oh. 
All right, so what did you think? What did you hear? Did you hear any differences? Here's some things I wanted to mention. The first time I recorded uh, with the Podgo and the Helix, I opted to turn the guitar pad on as I thought that would be closest to instrument level, like on the HX stomps. Um, but then the volumes were significantly less, and so then I took the guitar pad off, and now they're all very, very, very close. The only reason I can tell that there's a difference is because of the meter on the screen. And so I created this little screen where I'm just gonna put up everything, there's no audio, I'm just gonna put up and you can see the meters all next to each other. There are just some slight differences. I think the Helix is the most loud, I think the Pod Go is the second to most loud, unless it was the HX Stomp XL. I can't remember. Let's look at it on the screen and then I'll come back. All right, so I got it up on the screen here and it looks like if you go HX Stomp, XL, Pod Go, Helix, that's the, the least loud to the loudest. Like I said, we're talking very small numbers here, but if you look on the left hand of each of these screens here, the, the stereo side, over there where it says max, HX Stomp, we have a max of negative 0.8, negative 0.5 for the XL, negative 0.5 for the Pod Go, negative 0.4 for the Helix. So very minimal. Now looking on the left side, max, we have HX Stomp, negative 0.6, negative 0.8 for the XL, negative 0.9 for the Podgo, 1.2 for the Helix. So, a little bit louder. What do you think? Can you hear a difference though? Do you think live there's gonna be a difference? A lot of people had um, opinions in the comments about how the Podgo can't keep up with. It doesn't have the same somethings. So I'll have to go back and look at the, the comments. Yeah, Paula said, I thought the HX Stomp XL in my last video sounded better. Is that possible? Yes, it is because, like I mentioned, it was in stereo and the Podgo wasn't. Someone else commented this. I have said that the Helix and HX Stomp models all having a guitar impedance circuit on the input jack, but the Podgo does not have this. In my experience, there's a slight difference in the quality of the tone and feel. Someone on Facebook said the Podgo reacts weaker to playing dynamics. The sound is darker and more closed. It doesn't bring so much fun and feel factor. That is the main reason why I couldn't play with the Podgo and decided to stay with the XL. I really prefer form factor of Podgo, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I, I didn't feel any of that. Now, I wasn't playing through each of these, so the feel wasn't there, but the, the result, if our, if our picking and playing is exactly the same, can you tell the difference? I don't think you can. All right, so what do we know? We know that the Podgo has a different processing chip than the HX Stomp and the XL, but it is optimized for the effects that it has. They knew it was gonna be less, so they took out some of the higher DSP effects that are in the HX Stomp and the XL, so it should be optimized for it. You shouldn't be able to tell a difference. The other thing we know is that the Helix has two DSP chips, double the amount of the HX Stomp and the XL, hence maybe why we saw a little bit of a volume bump I don't know, I think the main reason for those two DSP chips is to just be able to run more effects at the same time because the, the top one is one chip and the bottom is the other chip. I don't think we even tapped into the second chip because I was just on one path. Hmm. So let me know down in the comments, could you actually tell a difference? Honestly, I couldn't. The only reason I knew there was a difference is because of the meters on the screen. So those of you who are saying there's a difference, you gotta give me something more scientific than it just, well, it just feels different because we do have this placebo effect where we play through something cheap and we play through something expensive or something big and something small or volume differences and we just think that that's better. And I think that this proves this wrong today. Maybe you disagree, let me know down in the comments. All right, well that's pretty much it for today. The preset that I made, along with some other presets that I'm working on, will be in the Expanse Pack soon. If you don't know what the Expanse Pack is, it's a one-time purchase, not a subscription, one-time purchase. You get free updates for life and I put all kinds of stuff in there. I put my, my best presets that I use on the weekend. I also put in all the presets that I make in these videos just to share them with you so you're always getting value. You can always see exactly what I've done and get it for yourself. Those of you who have already paid, when I update this, you'll get an email, you'll know. If you haven't purchased the Expanse Pack yet, now is the time. Click the link in the description, check it out, help support the channel. Really appreciate all of you who have already supported me. Thank you guys so much for being subscribers. Look out some, for some more videos. I'll see you in the next one, bye.